Jackson, <laughs> believe me. Sheila Jackson Lee. Madam Chair, thank you very much. For those of you in the audience, I came back because I believe uh, in you and I believe we can do this. Um, I do want to ask the question that I posed earlier, uh, and that is, uh, would you work with us and join us uh, in working to bring 100,000 people again to the mall uh, in their opposition to the war, but more importantly, uh, to make a final and important statement that members of Congress, and this is the bottom line, we're on the floor today, and I indicated to you that I was on the way to the floor. The bottom line is to get one vote at a time, enough votes uh, to cut the funds for this war in Iraq without denigrating the honor of the troops or the safe deployment of the troops, and it can be done. Can I ask uh, you starting yes or no? Would you join us for that effort? I, I, I would say that yes in principle, but uh, you know, beyond amassing hundreds of thousands of people here, which has been done before, uh, uh, to no avail, um, there has to be clear objectives, and and the clear and I, and I would and I would welcome that, and I'm not cutting you off, but my time is short, right? And so um, I would understand that we would have to have a framework. Okay. Sergio, am I getting it right? Yes. I will take a stand with Louis as what he said. Thank you, Adam. I I would only support such an effort if it were tied to more substantive action. Because when injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. And if, if gather, amassing that number of people would simply be an expression of the anti-war sentiment that we know exists throughout America, uh, it, it would not be uh, as, as productive as organizing and supporting the resistance that we take it as our mission to, to end the war through direct action as Iraq veterans against the war. All right. Uh, James? Congresswoman, I fly this flag today upside down because my nation's in distress. I don't see why we have to wait a day, a week, or a month for an impeachment. Thank you, Vincent. Yes, I'll agree with Adam's statement. If there is substantive results from an action such as that, then definitely. And I challenge all of you, as you challenge us, uh, to uh, frame the substance. Uh, I think the substance, of course, is um, that final vote, whether it's one vote or two votes. Uh, to stop the funding in the war. And I think that is something of substance to frame a movement again. What you did yesterday and last year uh, is to be commended. All of us were in the mix. But there's nothing wrong with doing it tomorrow, the next day, or the day after if it gets us to where we'd like to be. Let me ask my uh, next series of questions. Uh, this is not an official hearing, uh, but I'd like to ask a yes or no for those of you who'd be willing to come to present documents under oath to any of the committees that may have been asked, but I want to ask you just get a yes or no. Let me start with you, Luis. Absol Absolutely yes, Congresswoman. Absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Congresswoman, as long as I can provide documents. Absolutely. Absolutely yes. There are a number of committees with jurisdictions across the range, Homeland Security, Armed Services, Appropriations Committee, Judiciary, uh, and I think it's our duty to find ways of having you before our committees under oath. Are any of you still in active duty? None of us on this panel are, ma'am, but we have numerous members uh, who are on active duty in the reserves and in active reserves and uh, a number of members who are currently serving in Iraq today. Um, would you comment, Vincent, on the questions of your patriotism by appearing here today and participating in a movement to uh, oppose the war, having worn the uniform? Well, Challenges to your patriotism. I. I usually don't answer those questions because my, my answer is simply I'm a veteran and we are the men and women who have fought in this occupation and I think we have the right to say whatever it is that we experienced during our time over there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Congresswoman. 